Hey everyone, what's good? This is Joe, and I wanted to talk to you all today about this really nice Indian restaurant I went to the other day because the food was great. Before I start, I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting my videos on YouTube and Facebook. Your support truly means a lot. For more travel and food videos, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this culinary goodness. So I'm here in Okazaki City of Aichi Prefecture in Japan and the Indian restaurant that I went to is called Shibakamana. I'll leave all the details about this place in the description below. Walking into this place, you feel a very chill vibe. The service here is pretty good too. The lunch menu was really affordable and I had to go with the 750 yen set which came with one curry bowl and your choice of naan bread. Along with this, I also ordered a two-piece samosa appetizer, which was a lot bigger than I had expected, and some cumin flavored rice. The drink bar here was pretty good. For an extra 100 yen, it was all you can drink here, with options such as various juices, tea, and of course water. I got the plain naan. Though cheese is my favorite, I'm pretty sure my stomach might bite me back if I had eaten it. Dipping the naan into the curry looked, tasted, and smelled fantastic. I love naan so much. The deliciousness of the food here cannot be justified by this video alone. But what I can say is that the samosa was so good. Whether you dip it into the ketchup, which is pretty common, or use the curry as a dipping sauce. Both are great and the flavors are wonderful. Samosa has to be my favorite part of any Indian cuisine. Even when I was in India, I always made sure to find a samosa food stall somewhere every day. Talking. The cumin rice was pretty tasty as well. It was simple enough. Just cumin seeds and rice and maybe a few other lightly tossed in herbs and spices. But when combined with the curry, this rice was delicious. So guys, honestly that was my experience at Shibakamana in Okazaki City. And that's really all there was to it. Again, the information about this place will be in the description below and if you are ever in Okazaki City, I highly recommend you try out this restaurant. Alright guys, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Peace.